these two teams meet yet again, this time in Manhattan, Kansas, for their first game of 2021. It's the Horned Frogs visiting the Wildcats from Bramlage Coliseum. Miles, he's one of my favorite players. He's very low-key and understated. You see the nice pass. One of the better freshmen in the country, simply because of what he can get it done on this end of the floor. There's Miles. Here's Miles on the wing. Nice thread of the needle to Nemphard. Big fellas, particularly young guys, think you have to finish if you get that rebound. It's okay to toss the ball out and reboot the offense. Restart every season. They've got to build, if you will, in a grassroots way with young guys like this, teammates of his. Also, he's gotten better in the last few months in terms of what he can do on the floor. Easily gets one to go and has an and one opportunity. Into Bradford at all costs. Gordon off on the three. Offensive rebound and the 13th dunk of the season for the seven-footer Davion Bradford. Especially someone of his size. Here's Nemhart. He had a hot start and he keeps it going for TCU with the basketball. Backdoor cut, Farabello counted. And how about Farabello noticing the defense took his eye off of him and cut right to the basket for the easy lay-in. Here's Farabello. Frogs have 10 on the shot clock, and there's a missing shoe on the floor, but that doesn't phase Francisco Farabello, who knocks down a triple. Pack, left-handed drive, pretty from Nigel Pack. With the Texas situation, it's a little different than some of the other. Boys. Farabello knocks down the big three. But Texas is a little bit of an outlier, and, and I say that, Rich, because when you think about it and you look uh, as well as some of the, the social issues and Shaka really bringing that to the forefront with his guys and we're starting with Miles here with TCU, Kay Cunningham, and then the young freshman Brown at Texas. This is as good a year for freshmen in the Big 12, in the Big 12 that I've seen in a long time. And Jamie Dixon is apoplectic on the sideline. And there's a steal by Nigel Pack, one of three freshmen to start for Bruce Weber, and a nice layup from Nigel Pack, turning defense to offense. Here's Miguel. Now Pack open for three, and he got it. Nigel Pack's been a spark plug for the Cats. And no surprise if you've watched Bruce Weber's Wildcats play on offense. They are methodical and deliberate, and don't look now, but they've hit back-to-back -back threes. Good job by the big fella. The backdoor pass picked off by Taryn Todd. Gives it up, and the easy bucket at the other end. Chuck O'Bannon. Here's McGurl slashing it. Gives it up to the freshman Bradford, and it's good. And I don't think that's the case with the guards he has on the floor with him. McGurl for three. Got it! And we have a one-possession ball game. The one more to Miles. Now Nembhardt. He's got that little hitch in his jump shot. Those have been the two stars for TCU this afternoon. Now seven to shoot. Miles takes it himself, and one opportunity. Here's Gordon along the baseline. Out to McGurl for three again. This time it's good. And it falls off. Scramble for the loose ball. McGurl comes away with it, gives it up to Gordon, and Gordon has an and one opportunity. Yeah, I really love the way that TCU has constructed this roster. That's a three by Gordon, his second triple of the afternoon. We saw this earlier. Miles goes over top. You don't need to get a lot here. There's another three. What do we know? Uh, late shot clock. McGurl. No, the follow by Gordon. And he went over Farabello to do it. TCU holds on to a 67-60 win. Jamie Dixon collecting win number 421 in his career.